In this video, we're going to find the center of mass of the following point masses lying on the x-axis. Before we go through the problem, let me explain really, really quick what the center of mass is. So suppose we have like a little seesaw, and we can call this little triangle the fulcrum. So maybe it looks something like that. Then we have these little dots. These are our little point masses. In this case, we say the system is at equilibrium because everything is balanced. So let's instead suppose that it wasn't balanced. Instead, suppose that maybe it looks something like this. So here we have our little point masses. So what is the center of mass? Well, the center of mass is the point on the little seesaw at which we can relocate the fulcrum so that we are at equilibrium. So maybe in this case, we could move it to the left and maybe now the system would be at equilibrium. And this point right here is called the center of mass. Center of mass. In this case, this is also the center of mass. Center of mass. Okay, let's go ahead and work this problem out. So solution. So center of mass is defined to be the moment about the origin. So moment about the origin divided by the total mass. The moment about the origin is the tendency of the system to rotate about the origin. Let me go ahead and write the formula down. So it's m1 times x1 plus, and then it's m2 times x2 plus, and then it's m3 times x3. And then we divide by the total mass of the system. So m1 plus m2 plus m3. And so this is equal to, let's see, m1 is 4. So we get 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12, but I wrote it. And then plus m2 is 2. So it's 2 times 4. And then m3 is 8. So it's 8 times negative 4. So 8 times negative 4. And it's all being divided by the sum of the little m's. So 4 plus 2 plus 8. So 4 plus 2 plus 8. And this is where I usually mess up. So I'm going to try to be really careful. Let's see. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 2 times 4 is 8. And then 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Already it's feeling hard. 6 plus 8 is 14. Okay. And let's see. This is going to give us negative 4. Right? Negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4. And we're going to have negative 4 minus 32. So we're going to get negative 36 over 14. And this is approximately equal to negative 2.57. So that's the point on the little seesaw at which we can reload the relocate the fulcrum so that the system is balanced. In other words, it's at equilibrium. So I hope this video made sense.